Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another magnet fishing video. Y'all love the last one. If you haven't seen the last one, you gotta go watch it. If you haven't seen our last year's magnet fishing videos, you gotta go watch it. They're good. They're good. At least y'all been liking them. That's all I know. Magnet. This is what we're running today. The old 1100, I believe. I love this magnet. Um, about the right size. But today, as you can see, I got my camper. Uh, we camped here at the lake. Uh, me and the whole family, and I had to come pick it up. So, me and Dad thought it would be a great idea to come to the largest boat ramp of the whole lake and see what we might find right after July 4th because this place was absolutely packed. This is the main parking lot slash ramp of the whole lake. And right off the bat, look at that, the black ratchet strap. We're in the money. Like always, dad's beating me to the punch. I always lose. <laughs> I think you won the last one though, didn't you? No. No? No. Me and dad love to make it a competition. If you make something a competition, you look harder. You find more stuff. Plus it makes awesome, funny videos for y'all. But here we go. Uh, I'm gonna put the camera down and get to bobbing the old magnet. Guys, if you like these videos, please subscribe if you haven't and smash a thumbs up button for me and Pops being out here getting it done. It's a beautiful day. It's, a, it's not very hot. It's been raining all morning. It's a little windy. I'm gonna have to try to keep the GoPro out of the wind. So I'm just apologizing now. Ooh, that wind is ripping. I hope it isn't bad on the GoPro. All right, let's get started. He already went on this side, huh? <laughs> oof, oof, oh, that's a bad thing. This has like a phalange. This whole dock system has a phalange, probably a foot long, so you can't get your. Ah, you just constantly keep getting stuck. Look at that. You gotta stay away from the the dock's edge. Darn it! Oh, oh. easy now, easy, Bob. Sounded like something clicked there. Ooh, got something. What's that? Huh. Look at that. That's the end of a chain or a, or a rope. Maybe like a... Boat clevis or something? Yeah, there. like on a boat, a boat winch thing. Yeah. Yeah. Bucket material. I always try to uh, give the uh, beginner magnet fishermen and women out there my tips and... Uh, this is where they mount their wheels to haul the dock around if they need to move it. And this bar rail runs along, so you just keep getting stuck. Guys, if you get stuck once and you get unstuck, uh, beware. If you have a thousand pound or bigger, um, some of this stuff, man, I've almost lost them. See? Oh my. Oh! No luck, huh? <laughs> yeah. I didn't think we'd find a lot, but you never know. There might be someone dropped their keys getting in and off the boat. What's that? That is a rusty old nut. Well, I think it's about that time at this dock. So we're out. Reel her in. Ooh, there's something hit that oh it's heavy oh dad what's that a freaking ratchet strap <laughs> well they may not be using to hold the boat seat together or the, yeah or they it fell off the back maybe or they might have been using it as a rope right here to hold the boat to the dock well that is not very old extremely reusable that hasn't been in there very long. No, just this weekend. I bet you. so busy this weekend. I know. Well, there we go. That's a good find. That's actually something we can actually use. Alrighty. Uh, did not find anything at the other uh, boat ramp over there. It was worth a try. Now, I don't think Dad have ever done this one either. This is a pretty new, renovated at least, uh, fish cleaning station and it gets used all the time i always look how much it's used all the knife marks all the time i'm seeing fishermen in here cleaning stuff so who knows 
Maybe something drunk, maybe a knife. Something. Let's find out. Anything down in that That's hole? A good spot right there. You ain't lying. You willing to put your magnet down there? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Go ahead there, Dad. Have at it, buddy. Yeah. If it don't come back up, <laughs> that ain't my fault. Yeah. There might be some knives right there, though. Well, I remember doing this at Harvey County West Park when we yeah. came up with one. That's right. What the? That's not very deep, is it? No. I figured this would be deeper than this. It's in the back. Huh. Let's try out of there. If something falls, it can't go very far. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Nothing. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Got you, something. You get something? It is really rocky down there. Let's go see. What's up? Oh, look at that. Uh, a, me your fish. a metal ruler. Measure yeah. your fish. A metal ruler. That's part of a fence. There we go. Dad's on the board. All righty, let's pull her up, see if we got anything. Whoa, look at that. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, look at that mess, Dad. All the chain link fence isn't it yeah for some reason they have chain link fence around the bottom of this and it has all came apart that's a mess wow. absolute mess look at all that just cleaned it off and there's more of this fencing what in the world why if you have any idea why they would wrap the bottom of this dock and fence and then it rust and fall apart why 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 i mean i know they got a water pump down there i don't oh, know if they put the fence around there so to turtles keep don't debris and everything well no mm -hmm. because the chunks of fish go down there and the turtles probably bite that water line or something the pump get, well it probably get sucked up in that pump line <laughs> yeah no lie dad said we sure are cleaning all this metal out of this water that is no joke look at that again Ooh, ooh, ow look at that a beautiful bait. Yeah. Deep diver. Ooh, that's a dive. Is that a rattle trap? Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice one. <laughs> that, is, that looks like it's brand new. Literally brand new. Look at the hooks. That's that, a keeper. That is definitely that's a, keeper. a keeper. That ain't bucket material. That's, that's a, keeper. a keeper right there. That's a good one. He's pretty. That we're doing with all this. All right. Maybe the best find yet. Ratchet strap was pretty good though. We're just pulling metal out of here. Oh, something clicked there. Yeah, that was a big turtle. Ooh, what's that? Oh, look at this. Huh, piece of a knife. Look at that, a fillet knife. It is a fillet knife. Yeah, it goes in one of those electric ones, yes, I think. Yes, it is. You can tell it does. See where it hooks in? Yeah, it's called a Bubba knife or something, I think. Look at that. Smells fishy. Gosh <laughs> dang, it feels like, oh wow. Oh, never mind. It's my own rope I hooked. More metal. Oh, I always hate seeing this. We're at the next spot. Before we get going here, I want to show you something. So this is 4th July. This is a, yesterday was 4th July. Uh, lots of people. Ridiculous. Plastic glove. Yes, that is a plastic glove and not something else. That's just the start of it. Look at this. This is a day use campsite. Um, it's just sad. This is uh, this right here, guys. I know it. I know it. if you watch my videos, I complain about this and I'm not gonna stop because it's a simple reminder. This right here will in fact ruin what we get to do. Why? Look at this. There's dumpsters all over Literally, this there is a dumpster every block. Look at this. They put it in bags, in a box, and then left it. Left it. And you know what you do when you leave? It happens when you leave trash. No matter where you are, there's raccoons. Yep. There's everything going to get in. I mean, just, just right up the road, the dumpster. Literally right up the road. They probably went right by it on their way out. Well, and they this, had to. This ruins it for everybody. Yeah, it does. Because sooner or later, they shut it down. Come on. 
Come on, we can do better than that. But we're gonna pick all this up real quick and get to fishing. Pretty ridiculous. Huh? Look, there's just caps. You can tell they just threw all their beer caps everywhere on the ground, wherever they were standing at that time. Gosh, people. There you go, throw it. <sighs> Oh, everything soaked. It rained last night. Look at that. It just yeah, falls open. Fall apart. That's great. This is what I came here to oh, do. It's going to fall apart. Goodness. My last few things. Oh, that is just. That's ridiculous, guys. There we go. Got her all done. Now we can actually go do what we came here to do. Look at all this trash that's blown over here. <laughs> Goodness, it's ridiculous. Oh, we are here. Wow, it's a big dock, check it out. Big fishing dock, that's the only thing me and dad can think they use it for. Wow, this is massive. We gotta be able to find some stuff around here. And then look at this, this long footbridge that brings you down here, I mean it is huge it is long in here <laughs> really it's pretty deep holy cow it's real deep well if you drop something you definitely ain't finding it in here that is over well over 10 12 foot or better yeah Ooh, there's something there Ooh. The bad thing is, it's so deep it takes forever to pull it up to check your magnet. Man, I was bobbing on something down there, moving something. What'd you get? Samuel Adams. You know, never drank it before. Well, someone drank that and decided to throw it in the water instead of putting the bottle tab in their pocket. Well, this is a little bit muddy, so I'm sure we're going to be pulling up some more. Yeah. And man, it feels like something's been on that thing for a while. Nope. I think it was fishing line. Nothing. Got something shiny. Got something, huh? Who? What? Is that a fork? That's a fork. Look at that. <laughs> Look, it looks like it's brand new. <laughs> I keep hitting something right there. Maybe there's a picnic basket in yeah, it. Yeah, there could be. Well, there you go. Now you can eat your lunch today. You might have to. You might have to come help me, Dad. Oh, it's slipping. I got something heavy, and it's coming. Get you better get ready to. Oh, it just fell off. Yeah, it came all the way up. No. No. No remnants. There's something right there. I just got it three quarters of the way up, fell off. Did it feel like a tree or did it feel uh, like a metal? I don't know. I don't know. Huh. I got something there. What is that? A hook. Brand new hook. Yep. Whatever it is over there, I'm pretty sure it's a Christmas tree someone threw in there to attract fish. That's why I can't hook it too well. It has to be a huge tree though. Because boy is it heavy. See if I got anything on this side. Really? Oh, look at that. Look at that. We got a little bait. Bad. Uh, not the best bait, but it's got a new hook on it. Well, bucket material. Dad said he has something okay. coming up. Trail of bubbles everywhere. What's on it? Please be something. Oh, look at that. Oh, a net. Oh. I told you there was a Christmas tree down there. <laughs> kind of like Christmas Day right there. I don't that, know. Dude, that's nice. Holy cow. How did I get into that? Yeah, that's aluminum, isn't it? Yeah. Has to be. Oh, you hooked it. You hooked the net. How did I do that? I don't know. That's a nice net. Bodie Allen just got a new net. Oh, it's got a hole in it. That's why. It's made out of that spongy material. Yeah, that's a, the rubber net. Well, that's an awesome find. Man, I wonder if I could, you 
can replace these. I'm sure you could. Well, just take some wire ties or something. And Bodie would love to have. Oh them. yeah, look, just take this and wire tie it up, so you get rid of the hole. That's a frog catcher. Yeah, it is. That's a good one. He'd love it. It is frog gigging season, and my boy, Bodie Allen, is the frog master. I'm telling you what, we went gigging the other day on opening day, and uh, had so much fun. No, we did not make a video. We just had some good father-son time. It was much needed. Well, my hands look like granny hands. Being uh, wet in my gloves so much. I guess that's probably going to do it. We have searched this bad boy out. Dad's still going, but I am Dunsky. Alright, Dad, pull up the rig. Come on. Let's go. I don't know if it's because I'm just puny or what, but this is heavy. heavy? You got this something? I don't know. It's heavy. <laughs> oh! No! Ugh. Wow, you just casually catch a chair when we're ready to leave. <laughs> Look, he ain't even talking. He ain't even talking. Because you know you won today. I won this week. You definitely beat me. Look week. at that. That ain't very old either. It's a little dirty, bit, but not yeah, old. Oh, oh, it's a little, look at that! It's not a whole chair, it's just a little, what do you call them deals? Well, I don't know, but Bodie Boy got himself a <laughs> chair in it. And a net. Well, that's a nice one. Completely reusable. Heck yeah. Uh, it's a little bit bent, but man. Old dad, not giving up. That's what it gets you. This is what it gets you if you don't give up. A lot of you have had a ton of comments down in the, the old section down there saying, Bob, you know, me and my dad go all the time and we haven't found anything good. Well, you got to keep going, don't you? All the good stuff caught today, I can guarantee you, Bodie's going to be running out the driveway, up to the truck, <laughs> yeah. and everything's going to be his. Yeah, what old you guys find? Everything's going to be his today. Basically, my point, you got to keep at it to find some de decent stuff. You don't find stuff all the time. Some t what, the last video we did, it was just the normal stuff, like a fishing bell, some lures, normal. But you found two huge things today. Yep, all booties. <laughs> well, all picked up. Here's the finds of the day. Not bad. Not our normal stuff like I was saying earlier. Actually, we didn't find that with a magnet, but we found a good ratchet strap on the boat ramp reusable dad found the fork dad found the old fish ruler here uh i found the bubba knife sam adams from dad this definitely a keeper but then we move on to the stuff we don't usually find an awesome ratchet strap that we're definitely going to reuse definitely reuse and then two other things that are fully reusable brand new look the sticker's still on it it's ripped Someone probably ditched it in the water. Probably. It ripped. And then, perfectly good chair that probably, I would guess, blew. Someone left it out here and it blew in. Yeah, that's not ripped, it's not bent, it's all in one piece. Yeah. Good day out here. Beautiful, a little bit of clouds, good wind. I hope the audio wasn't completely blown out on the GoPro. If it was at all, I apologize. There's not much I can do about it. If you guys like me and Pop's magnet fishing videos, be sure to subscribe. And if y'all could do me a favor right now, please, let's get this video over 2,000 likes. It has been so long since I have had a video. Do 2,000 likes. Thank you, guys. I've been having a ton of questions about the Ducks shoes, when they're going to be available. Y'all have seen my camo ones. These are the gray versions. You can tell the uh, Cup Ducks camo is on the inside and then it's got the duck emblem on the back. These will be available July 14th. Use code BOB at checkout to save yourself some money. Anything on ducks, anything on Guggen, anything on bucks, use code BOB so you can save yourself some money. That was a decent day. It was a really good day, really surprising day. Yeah. One <laughs> bottle cap yeah. compared to all this exactly. stuff. Usually we have 20 bottle caps at yep. minimum. One, one for the day. The one thing that irritated me was the trash. The trash was too That's bad. ridiculous. I mean, literally all this, too much trash, too much waste at our public lakes, ponds, camping sites, uh, hunting public sites, private. Pick your stuff up. Just like on all my hunting videos, I preach and preach and preach. You, 
you have to pick up all your empty holes, your empty shells, uh, your empty monster can from drinking it that morning. All that stuff, your wrappers, pick it up. Shell boxes, all that stuff, man. There's gonna be a day when we come here to the lake or wherever, and it's just gonna be, yeah, it, or even you just, the whole banks are gonna be loaded with trash. You know, the thing about the lakes, guys, if it's public, a lot of them, uh, the only people that go around picking up trash and doing trash duties are volunteers. Um, here we have camp ho volunteer camp hosts, and a lot of them go around and pick up the trash, and they're not even paid to do that. So do your job, do your due diligence by cleaning up after yourself. I'm done rambling. Take a deep breath and move on, but until next time. I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that